One of the things you do as chief production officer, you oversee, obviously, this program. Rachel Cruz came out with uh, her show mm -hmm. and has done very, very well. This would be a fun example for yeah. people to see how you took this desired future process and you plugged it into something that was already planned yeah. and something that needed to happen, and you've really put it to play with this entire team. Take yeah. us through that. Again, if you don't have that stuff written out and saying, okay, what is the whole team going to rally around? The beauty is you have an editor all the way up to the brand leader or a VP around Rachel that can show what each one of them are doing to help that goal to get down the field. And so once we started putting stuff like, okay, Rachel, in the first, by the end of 2018, we're going to make X amount, and here's our defining objectives. Uh, production, you own this. Uh, the, the marketing, you own this. Um, it, it just took it to another whole level and it really rallied the team. So they look forward to coming in each month, looking at that, seeing what their color is. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a little competition. We sure. want to get to green. Yeah. And if they can't, it's not that they're not doing well, they're not doing their job. But again, it's that time to raise a flag and go, we need some more resources or we need some more people to help us focus on getting this red to a green. And it's really a team effort. Yeah, it's interesting. I love that you pointed out that it's almost like a scoreboard. But while it may be healthy competition, the, the the, the uh, reverse is true that when one team may be a little bit behind or maybe an objective is behind because of an unforeseen yeah. circumstance or whatever, I, I've heard stories uh, within the company where a team like that will go, okay, then we all need to, let's rally, That's right. let's lock arms, let's go over here and put some sandbags over here, yep. whatever the situation yep. is. And that is a result of what? Why, why does that happen? It's because... Again, when you have a, a unified goal together, you all want to hit that. You might have a piece that is your expertise in hitting that, but if someone is not hitting it due to we just need some help or we need all guns on deck, then you feel rallied enough not to be siloed in your area to go, this is all of us unified to hit this. If we don't hit this, I got to look back at myself and said, you know what? If I wouldn't, if I could, if I didn't jump in there to help them, it's on me. Yeah. When now that we've put this desired future process in place at Ramsey Solutions, I'm just curious about this. Has it stepped up the leaders and the team's game when they th sit down and think about what is our desired future? And what I'm saying, in other words, yeah. does it put a little extra pressure to go, wait a second, am I looking far enough? Yeah. Um, the beauty of Dave Ramsey <laughs> and the board is that uh, we have them come in when we first tried this and just went, that's that's what you should be doing every day. Yeah. That's your okay. KRA. Exactly. Um, let's, let's aim a little higher. Um, so to your point, Ken, it, it's very important that you step out on an edge and go for it. And you're not going to hit it every time, maybe. Right. Maybe it's so big, but guess what? That thing that's been a red for years is now a yellow trend into green, yeah. and it's been sitting over there for three years being the same thing. But just because you're intentional, make this dashboard and bring the team together, you are so much further than you were. So, yeah, it, 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 we... we are intentional as leaders to look down at our um, uh, the teams we lead and those creating the dashboards and, and trying to be that filter or that guideline of hey you can you can aim a little higher than yeah. that. You mentioned Dave Ramsey. I think this is an important point that I want our listeners to grab mm -hmm. and put it back in the context of what we've just heard Henry say and what you're talking about is how we practically use what Henry has, has taught us today. And that is this, Dave thinks in terms of decades, like he's thinking 30 years, 50 years. Honestly, I don't think I'm overstating the point that he may have thought 100 years yeah, from now. Right. Big picture. Yeah. But when you start thinking about that desired future, yeah. what's great about that, Blake, and tell me if I'm wrong, yeah. but, I, but, but I just sense that when we think that far ahead, it also makes everything else become more clear. It yeah. makes us think five years, 10 years, yep. 15 and 20, because there is no 30-year vision That's right. if you don't win that's right. Where you need to win in the next 12 yep. months. Isn't that the power totally of what Henry's true. taught it's us? It's totally true. It's like, you know, you're a sports fan and it's, it's 100 yards is a good ways to go. But if we know what the goal is as a team to get the five or the 10 and same thing with the years. It, it's so much for a guy like me who is so tactical in the production world where it's right then that day, get on the air, make sure it's done and all the details. Like Dave is so forward thinking because the man wants the message 
message to outlive the man yeah. that he thinks that way, and it's naturally brought us more tactical daily thinkers to be more visionary and strategic. Yep. All right, final word from you, uh, Blake Thompson, our chief production officer. What would you say to our audience? They've just heard Henry Cloud unpack this. What would you tell them to do with what he's taught? I'll tell you what to do, and it's very simple, and it might sound so simple, but when you do the simple things, um, you'll see major results. If it's a goal and a, a good communication tool with you personally or your team, take a piece of paper, Right at the top, my desired future. Make sure it's um, what, measurable and it's specific, whether it's a certain number you want to hit, whether it's a certain revenue you want to hit. And don't go too long. Go Do within the next 12 months maybe or 18 months. And then write out what are those boxes below it. We call it defining objectives. Write in those boxes the three to five, six things that it'll take to hit that goal. And if you have a team, give owners that are at the best of those and bring that thing in as a team, weekly or monthly, whatever your rhythm, and start saying, oh, that's a red, that's a yellow or green. And if you start seeing reds, what's it take to get that to a yellow? If you see a green, you might not spend as much time, but you want to continue to make sure that stays a green, or you might need to adjust your goal. But hey, it's a miracle what that simple sheet and bringing it in front of a team and you all are unified around it can do. There it is, straight from Blake Thompson. Blake, thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, thanks for having me, man.